Hi guys, it's Stacy from Clothes Live On and today I am finally sharing my inventory system with you guys. But I thought instead of doing just a basic like talk through, I would actually go through step by step of how I get from when my item is photographed to when it gets into my inventory. So you are gonna do every step with me. So let's not delay it, let's get into this video. Okay, so this is step one for my inventory process. So after I photograph everything, I put it into one of my bins. It is a blank bin. It's not part of my inventory system. Um, it probably will be at some point, but right now it isn't. So after I photograph stuff, I fold it up and I put it in this bin until it goes into its permanent spot in the inventory system. This way it's not sitting out on my desk or just out anywhere collecting dust, potentially getting fur on it because I do have a cat. Um, it just keeps it nice and clean and protected. So I put them into these bags, which I will bring you along while I do the rest of them. But I have two different size bags. I have bigger ones and then um, I have small ones. So what those are is the big ones are from Target. Uh, I apologize that this is not focusing. So you get 15 in a bag and um, I believe they are two gallon bags. Okay, well it's not telling me what they are in gallons, but I think they're the two gallon bags, but they are the jumbo slider storage. You get 15 of them. Like I said, I get them from Target. I think they're like three something. They're a little pricey, but I don't need these as much as I need the little bags. And the little bags I get from Walmart. So I do get my bags from two different stores. These are the Walmart bread bags, the twist tie bags. You get a hundred of these for about $3.19, I wanna say. Um, it's definitely under $4, around $3. Um, so these last me a while. I always have extras on hand. So I keep some extras up here. I need to get extras of the big ones actually because two boxes isn't a lot. That means I only have 30 extra on hand, but I have 400 extra of the little bags, but I do go through those much quicker than I go through the big bags. And when I ship them out, I ship them out in their bags. So these don't stay with me, they go to the buyer. So let's get the rest of these put into their bags now. The next step of my inventory process is to give the items an inventory number and put it into my spreadsheet. So I just use, um, I use numbers because I have a MacBook um, and you have Excel if you have a Windows. So I just have a spreadsheet with all of my current inventory. So I give it a SKU number on one side. The brand is listed here what it is is listed here and I just do it in some way that I can know what it is. So whether that's the style name or just a brief description, I list the size. It's just another way for me to make sure that when I pull my stuff, I'm pulling the correct item. I do the month it was listed and I have that here because um, I use separate spreadsheets to track other things. So when I when something sells, I want to know where I can find it in the monthly spreadsheet I have, to see when it was listed so I can go and put in the info after it sells. And then this, I just have a status so that when it sells, I put sold here. Um, and then, like I said, I can, I use that for my spreadsheets basically. But if I ever wanna pull stuff and try and take it to like crossroads, I would probably like write that here too. So I know what number it was. And then if crossroads doesn't take it and I wanna keep it in my closet, then I can just um, know what number it had and give it the same number. And then how I do my inventory numbers. This is something um, I've been doing for, since the beginning of the year. I think I officially got my thing, my system implemented 
uh, end of December, early January. I don't remember officially, um, but I use binder clips and I keep them organized in just a little drawer that I got at Target. So um, it's three drawers and I use all three. The top drawer is small bags. So just the bread bags get these numbers. Um, I have separate bins for the big bags versus the small bags because the big bags can obviously, like the buckets that I use for my inventory system can hold less of the big bags. So I just wanted to have less of those numbers. It just makes it easier in the long run. So the top drawer is the available spots for bread bags. The middle drawer is available spots for the large bags. And then the bottom drawer has, um, basically extra of these that are labeled. So um, I made 30 labels per bin, but for things like, obvious, especially like the big ones, um, they're not gonna hold 30 things, but I just did that in case I ever change it around. I already have those numbers. So things, basically the buckets that can't actually hold 30 items, um, the extras are in here. So I mostly am just using the top two unless um, for some reason, there ends up being extra space in one of the drawers and then I'll find the number and add it to the available spots. So I just go through, let's start off with that and I will just show you how I clip it on. It's pretty simple and then we'll fast forward through this also. All right, so this For Love and Lemons dress is now in my inventory spreadsheet. So then I pick a number, I literally like, it doesn't matter. I will say the only bin I sort of care about is I've kept bin A as jeans um but even that doesn't matter that much so i probably can't get it to really focus um but on the flat part i have written down um the bin letter and then the bin number so this is now going to be h13 i really just yeah i go in here and i just pick one out and luck of the draw, that's what inventory number it gets to be. So this dress is now H13. And like I said, I'm just gonna zoom through the rest of them. inventoried I want to make sure again that everything is as easy to find as possible so I do the brands um, ascending so that they're in alphabetical order and then I just go back over here and I do um, the status ascending so that um, everything that is sold is back at the top so that is everything for my spreadsheets. Now it is time to move over and put away my inventory. So let's go do that. All right, so this is what we are working with. So my next steps are, I like to stack them by which bin they're going into. So like this is everything going into bin L, back there that's bucket D, J, you get the idea. And then I have, my buckets over on these shelves. They are from Home Depot. Um, I got all of my bins. So these are my, actually, these are my original bins. I added these and then when I, I ended up getting two shelves. So I went and got um, all red ones because they didn't have blue. So I do have mismatched bins. Um, but yeah, these bins are just from Target. Uh, and they hold a lot, like I said, and there's like still more vertical space that I'm not utilizing, but I like to be able to see what I'm grabbing when I grab it. So yeah, I have A through J on this one. The top shelf, I keep more reseller supplies and then I just have K and L here and then I have six bins to expand. This is the one that I currently use to hold um, things before they go into inventory and these have unlisted inventory. But as I list that inventory, um, these will grow into more bins to hold the listed inventory. Um, so I kind of briefly showed you guys, and I'm sorry if the lighting's not great, but this is how they're going in. So I have them stacked. So I do a row here, 
a row here and then in the back and I do do them in numerical order so it starts with one and then it just kind of goes as things fit there so that makes it again really easy when something sells like on my spreadsheets um, let's say I sold like H17 because this is H H17 is right here it's really easy to find because like I said it's in numerical order so I am just going to go ahead and put this inventory away now and you guys can watch me do that I will say um, for the top two ones I use a ladder that I have over there and um, I use that to get things in and out of there because I'm short I could technically do this row um, it would just be like a little hard but I can just stand up on the ladder and then access all of that stuff really easily so let me go put away my inventory video if you have any questions about my inventory system that didn't get answered let me know in a comment down below I can definitely reply to those or if there's enough questions maybe I'll make a follow-up video I hope you guys enjoyed this though if you did please give it a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you're not already by clicking the red button down below thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you later bye